everyone. I really love being able to film in the winter. I live in California, so the winter is like 70 degrees. But um, this fan is not needed. I can put that away. But um, I can. I like it because I can have my windows closed and I can be as loud as I want. Neighbors could probably still hear me, but I am under the illusion that they cannot. But yeah, hi everyone. So this video is going to be about me oversharing on the internet. <laughs> um, I'm doing the TMI tag. I found this recently and I thought it was really cool so like if you want to know more about me and my really uninteresting life keep watching so there's 50 questions so I like to ramble if you watch my videos if you follow me I like to ramble so um, I'm gonna actually try and get through these relatively quickly and not talk too much for each one because like I said there's 50 questions there's a fly but yeah um number one what are you wearing I am wearing this um black bell bottom I don't know if that's the right word for this I got it from rue 21 it's kind of like forever 21 the plus um but I really liked it it kind of let me my dog is behind me hey move real quick I'm actually wearing actual jeans today so it looks kind of like this and it's a little bit short so I want to get like um black pants I'm wearing just regular jeans but I want to get black skinny jeans to um wear with like this and I have these boots that are, hold on. I bought these boots because I just love this trend so much. And they look like this. And are they not the most, Are the, they're so pretty. <laughs> but um, you're supposed to, these are kind of supposed to be like these embroidered boots that are, ow, I scratched myself, that are like kind of in trend right now. They're kind of, I feel like they're kind of supposed to be like the focal point of an outfit. So I wanted to get something that was all black. I want to get my jeans. All of my jeans that I have are relatively dark anyways, but I want some black skinny jeans because these are also these. But yeah, I haven't worn them yet because I haven't had really the occasion or the outfit, but um, I love these. All right, number two, have you ever been in love? Yes. Also, yes. <laughs> this hair is going to really bother me right here. Um, sorry if I, I know it's annoying when you're watching somebody and they're like playing with their hair a lot. Um, so I apologize. But no, I have never been in love. I'm 21 years old. The going on 22 next year hasn't happened yet. You know, I'm not really in a rush to. I have my whole life considering I live that long. That's morbid. You know, it'd be nice. I have my days where I'm just like, oh, it'd be nice. But um, really, it, I whatever it happens, it'll happen. I'm not dying to be in a relationship or anything. I mean, if it happened, I wouldn't like fight it either. Okay, um, number three, have ever had a terrible breakup? No, I'm not. Number four, how tall are you? I am relatively tall. I am, um, for the longest time, I was 5'9". And then in the past few years when I've gone to the doctor, they've been telling me I'm like 5'8", five, 5'5". Five so I don't know if I shrunk, but I'm about, I'm between 5'8 and 5'9". Um, number five, how much do you weigh? A lot. <laughs> um, I weigh over 200 pounds. I'll say that. And number six, any tattoos? No, but I would like two maybe I've always wanted a Deathly Hollow symbol like right here um the other day I was thinking how cool it'd be to get like a carnation because that's my favorite flower um like maybe right here but then that's probably not a good idea because of how big it is and like work and I'm in college and I don't want to go into the workforce like hey tattoo not to say tattoos are bad or that like no place will hire me if I have one but um just, yeah. And I've always really liked like thigh tattoos, like the ones that take over the entire thigh. Like if you know Tess Holiday, um, she has a bunch of tattoos on her legs and they look so cool. Like those, those I would like, I don't know what I would do because I can never, um, I, I just say the Harry Potter one, the Deathly Hallows, because I've wanted, that's always the first one that comes to mind. And, um, like that's been a thought of mine for years. So maybe, sometime in the future. Number seven, any piercings. I have just my two um, piercings right here that I got when I was a baby. Um, but I, for years now, since I was like 18 at least, I've been wanting one right here. Um, a Helix one, I think it's called. My mom has one. Um, and I've always liked it. And so I kind of just want one like hers. Number eight, OTP, like ultimate OTP. I don't think I can answer that in this video. How about me and my dog? Name a better duo. He doesn't really like me actually. You know, you know what my dog does that's really cute? Whenever um, somebody holds him, he automatically puts his head down on... Go, do it. do it. Do it for the people. Come on. Put your... Okay, so he wants to be difficult today. There we go. He likes to put his head down on whoever's like holding him because he thinks he's a baby. Okay, I'm going to put you down now. 
Um, number nine, favorite show. My favorite show of all time is The Walking Dead. Um, I have been watching that show consistently every year since the second season. Um, the first season was really short. It was like six episodes, I think. And so my brother got me into it. Like we binge watched the first season and I started watching it live during the second season. And I am just so connected. I had, I, season seven, episode one, I, oh my dog. I literally went through days of grieving. It was not okay. I have a video of me reacting to that episode on my channel somewhere and it's really embarrassing because I start sobbing. Number 10, favorite bands. Ooh, so many. Um, I've always really loved Maroon 5 and One Republic. They are the bands that I remember loving the longest. I've liked them for as long as I can remember. Other ones, Paramore, Panic at the Disco. Imagine Dragons is a relatively newer one, like in the past few years since they've been around. Um, uh, th Like for American bands, those. And then um, K-pop, if you have been subscribed to me and know how obsessed I am with that, I have a lot of favorite groups in K-pop. And I have top ones, Big Bang, EXO, BTS, um, Red Velvet, so just a lot. <laughs> Those I would say are like my top four favorite groups like in K-pop. 11, something you miss. Hmm. One thing that I do miss, I miss playing soccer. I played soccer for 12 years from five to 17. Um, I had to stop when I graduated high school before I entered college. I really miss soccer. I, those were some great years. I played, I was a defender for the majority of my time playing soccer. Um, they, I remember the very beginning, they tried to put me in the front and I cannot run like forwards in midfield. So I was put in the back. But yeah, I was a really good defender, not to toot my own horn. I have made actual goals from the half line, like on several occasions, like at least three times. Next question. Question 12, favorite song. How can you ask somebody their favorite song? I don't, there's too many. You know what I do love so much though? Earth, Wind, and Fires. Um, Something in September, that's the name of their song, right? Oh no, it's just called September. I, <laughs> I love this song so much. I always think of Nightmare, Nightmare, um, the night in the museum at the very end. I just, the song is, I love it. I don't know, this song just always puts me in a good mood and like I always want to sing along to it. I should probably learn all the words. I know the majority, but I just... Okay, enough of that. Um, I have favorite songs for like favorite bands and groups of mine. So let's just go through my playlist on iTunes real quick. Gallant is on here. These are my favorite ones that I have. I have Adele, Gallant, Halsey, Imagine Dragons, Johnny Swim. Love Johnny Swim. Just my entire K-pop playlist of like over almost 700 songs. My Latino playlist where I have a lot of um, J Balvin. Um, Lord, haven't listened to her in a long time. Magic, Maroon 5, Wonder Republic, Panic at the Disco, Young the Giant. Um, so Gallant, I really love his song with Tableau and Eric Nam that caved me in. But then also, where is it? The um, His song, Weight in Gold. So good. Halsey, I really love her song, Lie. She sounds so good in that song. I also really like her songs, Bad at Love, and I know I know there's other ones that I like. All of her songs are so good. Imagine Dragons, I really like Thunder and like the ones that are on the radio and whatnot. Radioactive is dope. Johnny Swim, okay. Johnny Swim, Heartbeats from their first album, and um, oh, I sold something on eBay. But yeah, anyway, sorry, I was selling a, a K-pop album and um, it's sold, but um, what's it called? I love Johnny Swim. I got to see them live recently and I literally wanted to cry. Okay, so Georgia Capon, that is the name of their most recent album. And in that song, there's a song called In My Arms. Oh my God. I am more of a romantic than I care to admit. So when I first heard this song, In My Arms by Johnny Swim, oh, I want to cry. It's so beautiful and I was like this is the song that I want to dance my first dance in the future um and I they have had so many people ask them to sing at their weddings it's insane yeah um so in my arms from the last album in the diamonds album I really love um live while we're younger maybe um and then in heartbeats their song heartbeats and Adelina Adelina is such a beautiful song. Oh my God. If you don't know who Johnny Swim is, look them up. Their songs, Heartbeats, um, In My Arms, Adelina. Those are my favorites by theirs. So good. Their voices are like, I just, ah. Oh. Okay, enough about that because I'll talk about them forever. K-pop, like my favorite BTS song is 
Save Me. Um, I really love that album. That's an album that I think Fire was in, I think. And then I really like, like, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. And, like, in this last album, I really like Go, Go, and Dimple. EXO, my favorite EXO song is Call Me Baby. My favorite Big Bang song is Bang, Bang, Bang and Tell Me Goodbye. Tell Me Goodbye, I just really like how their voices sound in that song. Like, um, Winner, my favorite Winner song is um, Baby, Baby. I, God. That, the, Taehyung left that group, but that is still one of my favorite songs. And I bought the album, one of my favorite albums that I own. I just love all the songs on that album. I like Red Velvet. I really like Dum Dum and, um, what is it called? What is, uh, Ice Cream Cake and even the, Peekaboo! Peekaboo is so good. I love Peekaboo. All right, um, but Latino, like, um, I have, Celia Cruz on here, obviously. Um, I have, there's a group called Bomba Estereo. I don't know, <laughs> my accent. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce their name, but I also have, also, there's a boy group called, I don't know if it's called, they're called Cinco, but it's C-N-C-O with the five dudes. I really like them also. And then J Balvin, dude, I love Safari. Safari is bomb. Magic, I love um, Let Your Hair Down and well, Rude. Like that was the one that's the one that everybody knows. One time I tweeted something at them and they actually responded and I lost it. Um, Maroon 5, my favorite Maroon 5 songs are obviously like the one that is their most popular. She Will Be Loved, like Mm, duh. And then they also have a Pure Imagination cover from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I just really like that song. I don't know why. Um, what is it called? From their last album, I really loved, um, Denim Chet, no, Visions? Best For You was really good. That was like the first song of it. Cold. <laughs> I like that drop. Uh, Denim Jacket. Mm, girls Like You, I like. Plastic Rose. Oh, I really liked Visions. I really like that song. Okay, enough of that because I will literally just keep talking. One Republic, I love my favorite One Republic song is All the Right Moves. I absolutely adore that song. A Panic at the Disco, oh, God. Brendan Urine's Brendan Urine. Wow. Yeah, Brendan Urie's voice is just literally to die for. And he sounds amazing live oh my god um all right so panic of the disco i love um the the death of a bachelor from the last album love it but yeah anyways um 13 how old are you i am 21 july 19th 1996 and this is my birthday so i'll be 22 next year Ugh. how old are you number 14 zodiac sign my zodiac sign is cancer the crabs 15 quality you look for in a partner <laughs> i don't know i don't know probably just somebody that i'm very comfortable around and having the same kind of like values and stuff like i understand people that um can what's it called be different but like as long as you have the same values and whatnot i feel like that's fine um number 16 favorite quote oh literally this is horrible uh, there's so many the first one that's coming to mind right now is stephen king and he said uh that books are a portable portable kind of magic something like that um i really like that quote there's so many quotes there's so many i can't even think of any um, number 17, favorite actor. My favorite male actor is Chris Evans. My favorite female actor is Viola Davis. I have that down. Chris Evans, I absolutely adore that man. He is so <laughs> gorgeous. And he just plays such a such a wide variety of characters. Like he's his my favorite movies that he's been in are like the Marvel movies, like his role as Captain America. But there's also a movie on Netflix called Snowpiercer, which is so good and underrated and like go watch it if you haven't seen it and then come back and talk to me about it because I've watched it three times um favorite color so my favorite colors are basically red and green red mostly but like maroon burgundy kinds of red um and then for green I really love like foresty green so like the different shades of greens you can find like in a forest I really like mint green and like dark forest green um my favorite colors are Christmas <laughs> number 19 is loud music or soft this is already going on 25 minutes see I ramble um loud music or soft mostly loud to be honest even if I'm reading even if I'm like doing homework I will listen to my music at like a regular too loud like temperature that's not the right word the only time i really like to listen to soft music is if i'm listening to um like piano music to piano songs till i fall asleep um or that's like i like listening to music roads like as loud as i can next where do you go when you're sad um 
uh, in my room, <laughs> this is, I just like, I don't like to be around people or be in public or socialize when I'm like in a bad mood or sad. So in here, <laughs> 21, how long does it take you to shower? Like 30 to 40 minutes. Not even because it takes me that long to shower. I just listen to music in there and I just am in there for a long time and I waste water. 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Any time between 10 minutes and an hour. <laughs> Honestly, if I actually want to get ready and if I'm planning to get ready the next day, then I'll make sure I get up at least 30 minutes before I have to leave. Um, you know, sometimes I'll just get up, brush my teeth, put my hair up and like put on pants and go. Um, other days like this took me less than an hour three have ever been in a physical fight um <laughs> yeah when i was like in fifth grade with this other girl and i literally it lasted like five seconds and i do not remember what we were fighting about so sorry <laughs> for 24 turn on does that mean like romantic one i don't know just somebody who's really like light-hearted and fun to be around like that's like a reason for me to want to be a rat i don't know um what is the next tw 25 turn off ignorance um especially when somebody is not even willing to listen to how like listen to why they were being called out i really is despise that especially nowadays number 26 the reason i joined youtube the reason i joined youtube was because of booktube um i wanted to make a youtube channel so that i could read books and talk about them and that was the main reason and that's still kind of the rain the main reason why i have my channel but i ventured off into other things and most recently k-pop which has just taken over everything number 27 fears i thought about this a lot when i was reading divergent um but i am afraid of heights I'm afraid of drowning. I'm afraid of maggots. They are disgusting. Afraid of dying alone. No. <laughs> um, number 28, last thing that made you cry. Oh, um, a few days ago, I was watching this movie. It's called Pure Love or Unforgettable, whichever one. And it's with my favorite actor from EXO. And so I watched this movie because he was in it. Um, and I just heard it was a good movie. And I was sobbing because of this movie. It is so sad. It's ridiculous. Um, and it's actually a decent quality movie. So like, if you want a good, like, if you want to detox your tear ducts and just cry, go watch that movie. It's insane 29 last time you said you loved someone probably last night to my mom <laughs> 30 meeting behind your youtube name um my youtube name is yvette eclectic yvette is my name my last name is Freire. but um eclectic when i learned that word many moons ago um i just really liked how it sounded i really liked the definition behind that word eclectic deriving ideas style or taste from a broad and diverse range of sources yeah, if you heard that, I'm um, deriving ideas, style, or taste from a broad and diverse range of sources. So like basically picking your likes from a bunch of different things, which is very me because I have always not struggled, but like everybody's like, oh, what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? I'm like, I don't know. I like a lot of different things. Um, and I feel like it went hand in hand with the actual content that I put on my channel. There's a lot of different things on here. Um, last one, 31, last book you read. Oh, um, the last book I read was, where is it? It's about again, this in the midst of winter. I actually just uploaded a, um, book before this, the video before this one. The book you are currently reading, the book I am currently reading, um is technically this one because i'm reading it for school a constellation of vital phenomena phenomenon phenomena with an a and i actually want to finish it well i need to finish it because i need to write an essay on it <laughs> but um i want to finish it and do a book review because it's actually a really good book and i just have a whole bunch of other ones that i need to read this is the next one that i'm going to be reading um it was an arc that was given to me thankfully so i need to read and upload a review for that within the next month 33 last show you watched um i was binge watching shameless last night for a while i hadn't watched the I hadn't kept up um so I was watching that that show man oh 34 last person you talked to um like, oh well I snapchatted one of my best friends and she responded let's see all right so the last person I talked to was my friend Sweta um <laughs> she's yeah 35 the relationship between you and the person you texted oh my mom <laughs> 36 favorite food <sighs> I love food so much. Um, <laughs> the first thing that always comes to mind is um, carne asada tortas. I love those so much and my mom makes them really good. But I have been, my family and I, my mom and brother and I, have been going to this Thai place literally down the street from my house at least like 10 times within the last couple months. We had it last night. They have an amazing pineapple curry. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I like food. All the food. Number 37, place you want to visit. So many places. Oh my God. The number one place I want to visit, like country-wise, is Italy. I'm dying to see the Colosseum. I 
I cannot die until I see the Coliseum. I don't know why. Other places I want to visit. I want to I want to visit a lot of places within the United States. It's easier to travel within the US. Um, I think I really want to go to New York. I really want to go to Washington, D.C. I want to go to Florida again. I haven't been since I was like eight. Um, I really want to go to, I think Texas would be cool. Um, like Washington, New Orleans would be amazing. I really want to go to New Orleans. Um, yeah, there's, I live in California, so there's a lot of places here, luckily, that I can visit. So, um, yeah. 38, last place you were. Well, I've been home, <laughs> but I took my brother to a party and then I went to the post office. Um, so, you know, 38, no, 39, do you have a crush? Not in real life. I haven't had a crush on an actual human being that I know in my life in so long. You know what? actually um I am taking this children's literature class this year um and in the begin or the semester and in the beginning of the semester my professor she had us go around and talk to everybody in class and like write down stuff about each other I don't know why but there was this one dude who was super cute and like was very nice and like I was like wow you're gonna make coming to this class enjoyable and I think he dropped the class so like I never saw him again but mm. Anyways, I don't know what that guy's doing. I just knew his name and... Anyways, um, next question. Last place you were, do you have a crush? 40, last time you kissed someone. Like, n never. <laughs> 41, last time you were insulted. <sighs> my family likes to do that a lot of my friends, so... Much love. But, um, last time... Yeah, I don't know. 42, favorite flavor of sweet. Watermelon and peach. I love peach rings and I also really love the watermelon flavor of like Jolly Ranchers so anything like peach uh peach flavored especially 43 what instruments do you play I do not play any unfortunately I really 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 want to learn how to play how to play the piano um one of my other best friends who lives in um Berkeley uh, I saw her recently and she was telling me how she um learned how to play a few songs so that was super cool and I really want to learn how to play the piano piano the piano the piano and violin are my favorite instruments I love them so much I love how they sound so yeah I would really love to learn how to play the piano one day 44 favorite piece of jewelry um so I actually broke it recently because I suck but like I said earlier I went I went to Paris when I was 15 um my uncle he gave me the um option of having a big old quinceanera or going to Paris so I chose Paris and uh, my favorite piece I really my favorite kinds of jewelry um is necklaces long necklaces um these are my favorite earrings my aunt actually gave these to me and they're like these long ones they come out and you have to like I don't know put them on your ear but I just think they're so pretty and nice but yeah this um watch this was part of a um what's it called okay it won't go in my ear but yeah this had a chain on it but I can probably just get a chain probably not too difficult but um it's a pocket watch and I got this outside of like from a vendor and um I just I don't even know let's do what the beauty gurus do and like do oh yeah there you go you can kind of see it and then of course it opens up and it used to work but um, it does not anymore. And I really love the engraving in the background. I don't know if you can even... And you can, can you see it? Can you see it if I do that? Yeah, it's like leaves and stuff. And I just really like it. And it's what I... My, my favorite thing that I brought home from Paris. 45, last sport you played soccer. I haven't actually played since I stopped four years ago. 46, last song you sang. September earlier. Yeah. Oh, actually, on my way here when I was driving, I was listening to Ed Sheeran on the radio, his song Perfect. I am loving Ed Sheeran more and more lately. I just, he is such a guy, and his songs are beautiful, and his voice is beautiful, and his song Perfect was on the radio, and I was singing along, and it was just, uh. Um, yeah, 47, favorite chat-up line. Is that a pickup line? Because I don't know. I don't flirt with people. Who does that? Yeah, I don't, I literally, I don't know. I'm so awkward. I, I can't even tell if people are flirting with me. I can't, like, are you? I don't know what's happening. Are you just being nice? I don't know. I think it's happened. Oh my god, okay. So, a few years ago, I, I took a, um, a couple years ago, I think I was a sophomore, I took this anthropology class, and my mom likes to tell this story because it's embarrassing. So, in this anthropology class, there was a piece of extra credit, and so we had to go to the zoo and, like, observe some monkeys. So, we went to do that. We went on Mother's Day to celebrate that, and um, I got to do my extra credit. So, here I am observing observing the monkeys for the 10, 20 minutes, whatever it was, um, and my mom and my brother are sitting... Closely behind me on this bench back behind me 
And so this guy, like another college student probably, approaches me and is just a very nice guy. He's like, oh, so what are you doing? Like, just being a pleasant human being. And I apparently was very standoffish and like I came off very rude. And I hate this about myself. I really, I swear I do not mean to, but I can just come off very rude and like closed off. And it's not because I'm trying to be, I'm just shy and like it comes off as me being rude and mean and I am working on it but it's embarrassing because my mother who is sitting behind me while this guy is literally right next to me she's like Yvette be nice and I'm like mom he can hear you he is right here so needless to say that was a horrible situation and I left and did not even get that guy's name or anything so that's my life yeah, moving on. 848. Have you ever used it? No, because my version of flirting is being rude, apparently. 49. <laughs> Last time you hung out with someone. Anyone. Anyone. <laughs> um, I saw one of my friends a week or two ago. Um, it's been busy with school right now, so I'll probably see everybody, well, like my two or three friends, um, more like within the week moving forward because then I have break. And 50, finally, going on 42 minutes, so this is probably going to be very long. Thank you for watching. Yeah, um, 50, who should answer these questions next? Oh. Um, I cannot think of anybody right now, but I will put who I would like to do this down below. And yeah, this would be great to see um, anybody do it. So if you were not tagged by anybody and you watched this and you were interested enough in my boring life to stick through the end and you want to do it, consider yourself tagged by me. This is a very long video and uh, thank you for watching if you stuck till the end. Um, but yeah, this was fun. I, I like doing this. I'm going to do another tag or two right now. I should probably change. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.